By far the biggest effect is when we're dealing with PTSD, you're dealing with veterans that are angry and they don't know where to turn to. They can't turn to society because society has a stigma about PTSD and they don't understand what we've gone through. If you've gone through a combat situation or whatever the military might present. So what happens here is that I teach them how to have a little bit of peace and quiet, but I also teach them when you get into a stressful situation, how to come overcome that situation. You can be in Costco or wherever it is and you start feeling that anger come over you. I'm teaching them breathing techniques, I'm teaching them relaxing techniques so they can actually integrate and get back to being a part of civilization. If I ask you to sit down right here and now, somewhere in your body, something's going to bother you. An ankle, a knee, a hip, something's going to bug you. What yoga does is allows you to stretch to the point where your body stops hurting. Because once you can sit down comfortably, the body doesn't hurt, then you can work on the most important part, is, which is your mind. Actually learning how to slow the mind down. Because one thing Americans don't know how to do is to slow the mind down. Yoga allows us to settle the body so we can quiet the mind. It helps you to calm down. That's the biggest thing. It helps your body to relax, but it also helps your mind, and that's the biggest thing is the mindfulness of it, because you got so much stuff going on in your brain, and we call it monkey brain, you know, and <laughs> so much going through there, and you can just kind of zone out and, and just concentrate on, on the yoga stuff. Yeah, I mean, years ago, you know, I used to think yoga was not for men, <laughs> and now I realize it's it's for everybody, and, and I'll keep doing this as, as long as I'm able to do it. Being a veteran, I, I have PTSD like so many other veterans do, and uh, there, there's things like avoidance, you know, we avoid people, we avoid large crowds. Whenever we hear certain noises or smell gasoline, it brings back memories. We have nightmares and flashbacks, and what the yoga does seems to take our mind off everything. And I know when the session is over, I'm a lot more relaxed than I was before I came in. It helps not only with my physical being, but my mental as well. In other words, I feel less stressed out and I feel less pain from some of my disabilities. Like I have fibromyalgia, I've had a major uh, heart attack and open heart surgery quadruple bypass and uh, you know my body aches most of the time but when I do yoga I find that I relax more mentally and physically. We've got Vietnam veterans, we've got Afghanistan veterans, we've got Iraq veterans. It doesn't even matter if they don't even have to have combat time. The biggest thing I want to get across these people is if you're tired and you're angry and you don't know where to turn, yoga can solve it. Yes it has a stigma to it but if anybody knows anybody that is a veteran Tell them that this is the answer. Come on in, just give it a try for once. Because through this program, we've got people that are coming off their meds after 50 years. We've got veterans not committing suicide because they feel like, one, they've got other people that know what they're going through. They know how to calm themselves down, and they've got an outlet. So coming off meds, not committing suicide, becoming happy, is, is, that's what everybody wants. And that's what can be done through yoga. I want, I want to get as many people as I can to help. They can be a veteran. It can be a spouse, anybody's welcome, just come on in, we've got the mats, we'll take care of everybody.